My name is Savannah Trevino Casillas. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm a sophomore at Arizona State University, and I have dyscalculia. I never really grasped any of the math concepts. Um, even like adding and subtracting were always really difficult for me. I didn't initially know how serious her disability was. I started noticing challenges. If we'd go out and buy ice cream and I'd have her pay and she didn't want to pay. But I thought that's all it was, was math challenges. The things that this calculia made difficult would be like adding, subtracting, multiplication, division, depth perception, so gauging like how far something is or how close an object is. Also time management, counting change or like making change when it comes to dealing with money. And then directions, so like having an idea of where you're going. My mom was always a really big support system for me in my education. Since she was a special educator herself, she was the one who wanted me to get tested for special education services. After she passed away and my grandma took on the role as that support system, she was really engaged in learning what I struggle with and learning how to help me best. Before, I was fun grandma. I was grandma to go shopping with and go out to eat with and spend holidays with. After her mom died, the challenges became much more pronounced. I didn't really want to be labeled as having a learning disability and I kind of rejected help at first and it wasn't until high school where I really started opening up about getting help and embracing my learning disability. She learned self-advocacy skills in high school. She has an awareness of what her needs are. She knew the accommodations that she needed to be successful. Once you graduate high school, your accommodations or the help doesn't stop there. It continues at the university level. I knew I wanted to stay in-state and ASU is one of the closest universities to my home and their Disability Resource Center was like one of the best ones in all the universities in Arizona. The Disability Resource Center provides me with my accommodations and my classes. It's a place where I've really found kind of like a, a second home and where I always kind of have like my base on campus and I've made a lot of friends there. The resources that I utilize at the DRC are my accommodations, my testing accommodations, which include double time on tests, testing in the DRC testing center, and having a note taker in my classes who will just go in and take notes for me and they'll share those notes with me in case I miss something. I'm allowed to record in classes. I haven't met many people that have that stick to <laughs> She really knows what she wants. She's got very specific goals. She's that dedicated. She's that committed. She's that willing. She's that driven to succeed in life. The resources at a college or a university are one of the biggest factors that any student should look into, especially if they have a learning disability or, or some sort of challenge. I really love college. College so far has been an incredible and an amazing experience. I have taken some really challenging classes and I've taken a lot of fun classes and I've met a lot of people from all kinds of different backgrounds and I am just excited to see where it takes me even further.